Hi guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to be looking at some specialized cells. Now when a cell has a particular structure to carry out a function, that cell is specialized. Some examples of specialized cells that you'll need to know for your exam are here on the whiteboard. Our first one, um, this cell here, this would be called our motor neuron cell. The motor neuron cell is to transport a uh, electrical impulse to an effector such as a muscle. And you can see that the motor neuron is adapted for that function. First adaptation is that it has this insulating layer around the axon. The axon is where the electrical impulse travels and this sheath around the axon acts as an insulator. The motor neuron is also quite a long cell, which means it can stretch to different parts of the body. It also has these dendrites at one end of the cell that allow it to connect to other neurons. Below the motor neuron, we also have muscle cells. The muscle cell's function is to allow us to move by contracting and relaxing. The adaptations of the muscle cell is it contains mitochondria. And you can see it's packed full of mitochondria. This releases energy for the muscles to contract and relax. We've also got a sperm cell. Um, and you'll be expected in your exam to explain the role and the structure of this sperm cell. The sperm cell's job is to swim to the egg, to fertilize the egg. And the sperm cell has three separate parts. It has a tail that enable it to swim. It has a middle section here. And in this middle section, it's packed full of mitochondria, giving it energy for that swimming motion. And in the head of the sperm cell, we have a nucleus. And that nucleus will contain half the amount of chromosomes required to make a human being. There will also be some digestive enzymes in the sperm cell's head. Those enzymes are there to break down the um, membrane of the egg cell. We also have a root hair cell. We find the root hair cell in the roots of a plant. And the main job of the root hair cell is to absorb water and nutrients that the plant needs. And the root hair cell has this finger-like projection. And this finger-like projection gives the root hair cell a large surface area. It also has a very thin cell wall so that it can absorb water quicker. Okay guys, thanks for tuning in. Stay in touch for another video.